The eyebrows are dark as fuck today, like can I relax? $94,000 giveaway. Giving Johnny Bravo, relax. So, yo, do you ever wake up like tired and like ashy, like? Oh, don't even start. Hold on guys. Ugh. What's going on everybody? This, I'm giving Krusty today. I'm giving Krusty, but the lighting, the lighting. Excuse the acne, excuse the voice. I had a new bottle, period. Yo. Here's a few things. Um, if you're watching this, this is filmed after the cruise. When I came back home, I think my body was like, girl, hot to cold. Which one is it? And now I got a mini cold. And this really gross pimple. And now my voice also sounds like this, which is like, you know, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. This was me this morning. And I said, you know what? I'm tired of looking like a bum. Let's go get cute. Let's go get cute. <clears throat> now, if you guys follow me, you know, put number one, put some subtitles on because my voice right now, if you know me or you follow my pages, you know, I post myself going on a curly hair journey. So, for the year 2023, I haven't straightened my hair yet, I don't think. And it's only three, two months in. I was like, oh, let me do my makeup. This is why I turn the camera on because we're getting ready to go somewhere. The reason that oh, well, I told myself, like, all year. I'm only gonna go to my curly hair lady for haircuts because most of the time anyway I don't want to get a haircut with that's catered to the straight hair when my curls look a certain way. I'm desperate at this point. Uh, it was very hard to look her and she's so expensive and right now I'm in a need for some cheaper self care because I'm sick. I don't have the energy to be, you know, straight in my hair because when I do it, it takes me five hours. Somebody else does it two to three hours. That's how much hair I have, like, you know. And don't worry, guys, I don't have COVID. Like, that's okay. What I do want to say is, though, um, if you watch my stuff and you're like, girl, like, you know, I will say I'm going to Dominican salon and there's always that fear in the back of our heads. If you know, you know. Um, it don't matter even if it is family friend, but this is a, I don't want to say she's like my family friend because she's more like somebody my sister, my mom went to versus I went to somebody else. Now they're my mom's friends and it just worked out that way. Like it wasn't like a, you know, any specific reason, but, um, yeah, we're gonna, oh, period. Do y'all see the tan from the curl? Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place, but not the stash. Let me get rid of this mustache. Hold on, because no, we're not. I know there's always that fear about heat damage and Dominica Salon trying to scam me and whatnot. And I mean, all I can do is cross my fingers. And I did a roof first last night. And then I just simply asked my sister, because she still has her curls. So I said, okay, if. She goes to this place and she still has her curls. Everything will probably be okay. And if not, I take accountability in that choice. But you know, we're gonna do a minimal request for rollers and we'll dry only if that's possible. If they're a good hairstylist, they should be able to do that. Um, and that's like way less heat, direct heat versus like literally doing blow dryer roll straight like it's like whoa like you know but yeah i'm not gonna my makeup look like i want to leave them feeling pretty feeling cute so right now it is what time 8 55 oh and I, my goal is to leave at 9 15 so i kind of need to hurry the hell up but yeah this is like a mini vlog a mini self-care vlog because you know if you watch my zanji does chats stuff i do a lot of talking a lot of advice Bit. But I want y'all to just see what that would like to. So today, I am gonna give up some money for some good self care. The reason I don't really go to get my hair done is one, the heat damage. But two, I sweat from my scalp first, which is really fucking annoying. Like, girl, like I can't have nothing good in life. So right now, my scalp is sweating. I'm really hot, actually. I feel like the, the the idea or the concept of sitting down, having my hair washed for me, blow dried for me, 
Rollos for me. Bro, if you ever try to do Rollos on yourself and you could do it, congrats. Because you'll be un fucking relajo, bro. Like, that should be embarrassing as fuck. But yeah, I was like, I want to do some content regarding this. But then I was like, what do I do? Do I do a TikTok? Because it's always awkward. Like, y'all think it's easy to go to a salon and just film yourself in the mirror? No, it's fucking not. Like, and just know if I do, it's because I was sneaking or the lady was nice enough to let me. Y'all see this burn? Y'all, I fell asleep editing. And my cord heated up. Burned my skin. All, and I fell asleep, right? I fell asleep on my cord. Like, my arm was, like, right on it. So, there was no airflow. And I just woke up and I was like, ow. Like, something stink me. And I just moved my computer off the bed. And I'm on my trip. And I look at my, I'm like, what is this gray bubble? And I'm like, I'm like oh my god. I burnt myself. From, that's crazy. That's never happened to me before. And then, y'all, I'm in the beach, hot tub, whatever. The shit pop. I'm like, ew. Because I know you're not supposed to pop it yourself. The shit pops. I'm like, and it pops, and I'm like, all right, well, I can't do nothing about that. And all I had was Neil Sport, and I didn't have on uh, hydrogen peroxide, I think it's called. So when I got home, first of all, it like it was gross. It looked infected. When I got home, I put that hydrogen peroxide right in. That shit was bubbling. I was like, ew. I was like, ew. That's gross. Um, and now it looks like this. So she's trying her best, but. Mm. I'm just doing a little makeup because I want to live here for them, you know. We're going to go to JP. JP, if you're from Mass, you know, you know what? And I want to just be the one to say this. No, because I'm always thinking about something controversial. Like, I can never just relax. If you know, you know, I miss old JP. That's all I'm going to say about that. And certain parts is still old JP. And you think it's sweet. Like, oh, we're just bringing communities together. Stop. You're pushing my community out. This too controversial for a self-care video. Too controversial. It sucks having a cold these days because you go into a place I don't like this and like, oh, you have COVID or what? And it's like, no. I checked. And then my nose already naturally gets like, okay. My nose naturally gets a um, thing like watery when I do my makeup anyway. But yeah, I'm so excited. First of all, where I live and where JP is, it's like. 30 to 40 minutes. So the goal is to leave here at 9.15 to get there by 9.30-ish. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. 10 a.m. 10.15, yeah. My math was so wrong. Did y'all hear that? Wow. Um, but I showered. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Yes, that's why I don't really do my hair that often so long because I sweat it out easy. So any ounce of humidity, any ounce of any water particle, so when I sweat, you know, and it's Friday, so it's perfect because I don't work on a weekend, so I got Friday, Saturday, Sunday to make the hair last. And usually by the fourth day, it's kind of like, mm, you know, but this girl, like I said, I've never been there. My sister's gone there a lot, like that's turned into her childhood place while well, I had a different one. That's right. That's right. Um... I'm gonna ask her if I can put this picture on screen because it's so fucking funny. <laughs> like, don't be about to cry because it's so hilarious. And the eyebrows are dark as fuck today. Like, can I relax? Zayqua on Zay. Zayqua on Zay. First of all, why do they make them this fucking big and half the time they don't work, bitch? I just wanted to do like a natural beat so that when everything is done, I can just leave like, wow.
we have different titles. But without those titles, who are you at the end of the day? What's filling your cup besides the hustle and bustle that we get stuck in every single day? I'm guilty for it. I'm a mom. I work. And this day is not only for networking, but it's also to relax. Those of us born and raised in Massachusetts, especially in Boston, know how hard it is to create and network with like-minded individuals. No, because I don't know why I even let my boyfriend touch my tripod. Ugh. That bitch. We're going to this gym. We're going to the gym. Oh, Jesus. We're going to the gym and I have a busy. Stop. Because if Tony sees this video, he's going to be tight. Like, why aren't you sleeping on? Like, y'all, give me a second. Stop. Like, the judgment. Put my sleeping on these days. I used to not. And this person's like on my asshole. Like, I'm trying to do things out all at once. Let me get my free workout. Not the lean departure. Honestly, if this is too fucking ugly, like, I might just have to cover it up with a cute selfie. I'm gonna put a cute selfie on my face because I'm so sorry about it. I'm so sorry about it. Like, you could be mad at me. Whatever. I'm drinking my ghost. Just, you know, and I used to not be a ghost girl, but I was convinced. But pre-workout is pre-workout. It's not healthy to begin with. Um, it's 9 it's 9 a.m. And go to the gym. I think I want to do a full body. No. just I just want to see how long I can go on the elliptical. That's kind of where my mind's at with that. Like, who backs up into a stop sign? Don't do that shit. Like, I really hate driving and saying people do dumb ass shit. Like, oh, guys. But, um, don't judge these shades because these are just shades so I don't get a headache from the sun. Cause. But, um, we have a busy day today. And what I was saying about being a grandma is my favorite radio station, Jim Ryan 45. That should tell you where I'm about. <laughs> I live in Massachusetts, guys, not a secret. Um, Jim Ryan 45 is doing a freaking $94,000 giveaway. I don't know if it's real or not, whatever. The feeling of winning something is just something I strive for. The way to win it is you have to call and put in a, it's like in a lockbox right now, I guess. And you put it in and you know and this the secret is that you always have to listen because you know they love their listeners you know they they got their own algorithm too they gotta meet so the secret the catch is that they're not gonna tell you every day what the last code was or the whole list of codes what the fuck are you beeping at oh that i'm dead uh i was like who the fuck is beeping at me Watch your mouth. Anyways, that's somebody I know. This is 9.20 and I'm off my schedule. Way off my schedule. I wanted to be at the gym at 7.30, like. So that right after the gym we can get going. Oh yeah, I got the paper today. Oh yeah, guys, we got the paper today. So, throughout the week, because this is going to be a weekly vlog, I'm going to try to do all. I'm going to try to do it on my phone because the camera's just too much, guys. And I'm trying to work on getting a new, like this new mini camera too. So anyways, anyways. Throughout the week, I want to try this 94K giveaway. Um, I have my freaking manifestation journal that I lost my keys to because it's a little, like it's locked. And we're in January, February, March. We're three, like I'm three months behind and I need to catch up. Um, at some point, I have my spring clothes in my boyfriend's grandparents' room. And it's just like, why are you doing that to them? They're not they're not here right now. So, <laughs> But I need to take that out. You know, like, it's very inconsiderate of me. And I need to organize. There's just no fucking room. <sighs> we, do, we have gym, groceries, meal prep. Um, I have to write back to my friend. We have this little pen pal thing going on. She lives in Massachusetts with me. But we just like to send letters to each other. And I definitely have not talked to her since Feb. Or Jan. No, since like end of February. 
so like march is about to be done like i don't want her to think i forgot i'm gonna sit down and edit my video because you know i gotta stay on it um i need to call my physical therapist and ask what time is my appointment this week because they just switched it up on me i need to also wash my bed sheets and wash the bathroom stuff so before i left for the gym and that's my tip to you guys always wash your stuff before you go to the gym so that when you come back you can just put it to dry and yeah that's it and i mean a lot of shit to do but hey you know what i mean so that's what we're doing today we have a busy week ahead of us i got the whole week tomorrow i have um my weekly girls day with my boyfriend's mom and his aunt and then her friend um and we need to go to apple to fix my phone girl because the lock button <laughs> now if i fucking lose footage tomorrow like, don't even don't even this is how i lose time sitting down talking imagine i'm like okay guys now i'm gonna read to you my grocery list no i'm just kidding i have a lot of shit to buy anyways and we do need to go to two stores so we're gonna do gym get breakfast i have my little you know medication and i don't know why i talk so much about my medication online like as if it's like i really don't understand y'all know i be catching an attitude when people grow the shit on me like is my parking job a problem like it, you're the car that's next to me isn't even you and it grills me when it's like <clears throat> you're parked good and you're in between the lines but you're just crooked in the space and don't trust me i'm not one of those people that's so crooked that i'm out of the line because that's what pisses me off and then you get grilled like let's go let's see wish me look on the elliptical today um we're also on a mission to get an apple watch and maybe we'll talk about that well let's talk about it now this really sweet guy was selling his apple watch and he was really honest about it working good and stuff but in, on his facebook listing there was no photo of the screen being cracked and all he wrote was like cut like a little bit of cosmetic damages and i was like okay like what a little a little scratch or something like i'm not that big on it and it was like a newer apple watch just for 150 dollars and the original is 300 so i was like I know last time I got scammed off his marketplace, I got scammed from my car. So I was like, hey, do I lose $4,000 or one fifty? Relax. Yeah, we met up with him. My boyfriend came, you know, keep it cute, keep it safe. And he was so nice. He was like, you can look at it. You can know, you know, I'll be right here. Just, he unboxed everyone. But I was just like, you know, he trusted me and I trusted him. And I was like, okay, we can keep this mutual, safe, and sound. And he seen my face. He said, ah, this don't look like something you want. And I was like, yeah, um guys that shit was shattered <laughs> that shit was shattered i was like <laughs> i was like um and now don't get me wrong a little crack okay like one little line yeah it was given like imagine these are cracks across the whole screen it was like i was like um not the zoom in so we're home and I got the wrong lens on this. So y'all are gonna hear the Okay, that's the lens adjusting. Um, groceries are here. I got my little apron on because I should be cooking with no apron on and I'm just won't do any of my clothes. Got my AirPods. Let me show y'all the fridge. Cause, you know when it's oh when you do groceries you get in the habit of cleaning out all the old nasty shit like i'm not playing with you that we don't use that that is my mother-in-law's things um she's so kindly offered this beautiful fridge for us to put our little munchies in but yeah i gotta clean the hell <coughs> i need oh oh, oh. Child. yeah i need to clean up Clean this up. It's honestly just a bunch of food. I put this because something was leaking and it was aggravating me. Like the container and I didn't have a backup. But see, like we, we have a few things. So I don't know where to prop this camera. But I'll just show you the before and after honestly. Because this camera is already talking about is 2% dead. Like don't play with me. Um, and I'm sure y'all don't want to hear the lens adjusting. So back with the after. She a 
baddie, she's showing her panties. She's shaking like jelly. Hundred bands of Chanel, but I'm still shaking ass in a deli. With my bitch got a daddy. He like him already. He want the one, but I just want the Freddy. And I'm back in his pot, I'm petty. Call me that be one, he eat my honey. You know niggas love bitches with money. I get a lot. Taking a spot. If you ain't cooking, then get off the pot. My name Ice, but I always stay hot. Passenger princess, he passed me his knock. Baddest little bitch with my block. Me and Baddies be getting along. So they always be singing my song. Stepping outside, I'ma put that shit on. 300 and then I perform. You know I'ma get to the back. Or the hating bitches to the back. Too much to look. That's what I told y'all. That car ain't gonna be doing me dirt. Dirt. Um, anyways. My camera's about to die. But I didn't do a Tuesday check in. So I'm like, let's check in. Let's check in. You know, it's girls in it. I told y'all. Let's do a quick rundown. Quick rundown. And I have to take my makeup off because mm -mm. I'm gonna shop. <laughs> but um I just said therapy. Period. It's 4 p.m. right now. So therapy's done. And we had girls day. It's still going on, but we had breakfast this morning. Period. It's so fun. I love breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite. And we went to the mall. Um so look what my phone looks at. I don't know if I told y'all about this yet, but my lock button gets stuck and it's just like when you wipe it it don't get stuck when you some time goes by and then it gets stuck again and you're like hello um so apple was like we see no water damage so i'm not sure what the hell that is my vein because she the today she was like this but as time has gone on she's just like okay like do whatever you want that give in johnny bravo relax I'm gonna switch my bun anyway because I have a headache. Switch this makeup to the trash because, yeah, sorry about the background noise. The vents, the vents, I don't know how else you're, but um. Do y'all really want a video with this vibe? No. Anyway, 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 anyway. my phone started working and I was like, ugh. Don't get the fucking mini anything, okay? Don't get the iPhone mini. I played myself. They didn't have the part for my phone to fix it. It's this whole fucking ordeal, like. And I was like, maybe I need a new case. Like, I don't know, guys. And I was going around the whole freaking mall. They did not have an iPhone mini case. Like, embarrassing. <laughs> And that mixed with what my friends said the other day about the if like it wasn't giving like a newer phone I'm just done I'm done but I'm doing that thing again where I'm like letting people get to my head because that's what happened with the my old car I put a picture on the screen I let people get in my head and my, my car looked perfectly fine made a little weird noise convinced myself that the weird noise wasn't good sold the fucking car got it for such a good price and I went and bought a car um that I wanted because of how it looks put you on the screen and that man scammed me four thousand three thousand dollars <laughs> we still have a lot of shit to do and it's getting to that point in the week where I'm getting overwhelmed because <sighs> I just want to have a good content week and you know, so we're doing girls' day still, and I'm even so sorry about it, but the girls ain't watching that good fun. Like, nothing that I'm into, so I hope they're not offended if I bring my laptop and iPad down. So it gets some work done. And not me eating the fucking white and relaxed hungry ass. Went to Best Buy and I went to go see this new vlog camera that I want. Because, guys, even my boyfriend said it, he was like, that camera, well, we were looking at all cameras, but he was definitely like, yeah, your camera's big as fuck. God gave us intuition. We know what we know, and we know that. So, we're like, oh, I'm going, you know. It's Wednesday, guys. I know, I got my energy drink, so what do y'all think I'm doing? I'm at the gym. Today, we got the camera out. Today, we got the camera out because y'all know I, I was just complaining about the phone angle. And this is a much better angle. I mean, I just think so. What's going on, you guys? It is definitely cold today. And I don't fucking understand. 
Also, I just want to apologize in advance. I feel like I really am cranky in the morning. And I try not to show it on the vlogs. But it's just me. Why was he so fucking close? Let me relax. Today we're drinking our, you know, we're going to do workout. Guys. Now, I know I've talked about, like, not on no Leah's face. Because I ain't going to give y'all too many details about my body about weight loss and weight gain whatever because that's just vulnerable information for me but just for my own for my own sake if I wash these back so <clears throat> put your hand up anybody in the room put your hands up if you have body dysmorphia and you don't know what your body looks like anyway long story short I am doing weight loss like a little weight loss situation don't take that as tips to give me unsolicited advice when people tell y'all that they're trying to lose weight y'all just think that's they that they're asking for advice i i don't think that's what that means so i'm just making it clear guys trust me i know how i've been to seminars i like don't even get me started um <clears throat> and basically i decided to do something different this time which i've done a bunch of shit but what i tried this time was to do um I think I've talked about it before, but intermittent fasting, but what I am trying that's new is measuring. Measuring, because I was like, wait, this, I, like, for me, it's hard to try new things regarding weight loss because I'm always, like, scared that I'm on the thin line of, like, okay, now you're just obsessing over it, so it's not healthy anymore, versus just trying to keep up your progress. So, I've given into intermittent fasting. I've seen results, and I like how it makes me feel. I like meal prepping. I like working out. And then, <clears throat> I'm warming up to the scale again. But, if you're checking your weight on the scale every day, I think that's a problem. I'm not. Um, I check once a week, and even that is a bit much for me. <laughs> but, I like to do it just kind of to like check everything, make sure that I'm, you know... Staying on my P's and Q's like, okay, we we got a little carried away this week with, with the calories. Um, I don't check my... No, because why the hell is this man so fucking close to the car? Like, <sighs> shit like that really aggravates me because, like, yes, I'm in a parking lot. But if you can tell, I'm around no cars. So there's really no... Like, I just feel like men sometimes have no situational awareness and some people in general, and it's like, if you see that I'm a woman sitting in my car talking to what, what it looks like myself, maybe I'm having an episode, you don't even know that. And you're just still walking so close to my car, touching the headlight, like, when there's so much space around you to walk, like, why? I just, it really frustrates me because as a woman, like, I was like, I don't know if y'all heard me click the fucking lock button because it's like, it's scary like people I've seen somebody go up to my car like a family car and they open the fucking door <sighs> back to what the hell we we're talking about because he just like ruined my mood and okay I know somebody's gonna be like girl he's just minding his business nobody's worried about you that's fine I'm glad he's not worried about me but back up like one thing about me is back the fuck up <laughs> um very dead I'm dead I love this angle though it makes me feel like incognito. I would never drive this fucking low because I can't see anything. So I don't know if I've ever told y'all. I'm for it. Love it. Did y'all know that? Period. I don't, I'm not embarrassed by that. Like, I can't change it. So what? Like, it is what it is. I'm fucking short. Can you take my shades off yet? No, the sun is really bad today. Like, y'all know I get headaches with the sun now. I'm a fucking old woman. Okay, so back to the whole weight loss thing, right? so good news so yes i tried measuring you know and I, I, it took me a while to get there because you know it was a little bit triggering because i used to do ballet and i always remember when it was measuring time for the costumes nothing would fucking fit me because they were doing skinny ass sizes and of course i was a chunky one of the group i've always been a bigger girl that's just is what it is genetics and i love that i've been watching Liz's face because she even admits like she's that kind of person that her body type is just easy to put on weight and I don't think a lot of people talk about that because y'all just assume us bigger people are just fucking big and we just do it for fun like some of us are trying some of us are fucking trying <laughs> but the good news is guys right so 
I've I've opened up my heart. Long story short, I've opened up my heart to a lot of more options, a lot of a lot more options. And uh, let's just say, you know, I I know how to eat clean. I know how to do whatever. But I'm the, just the type of body that like it's easy for me to gain weight. Like I can have one bad week and I can gain like six to ten pounds. It's fucking. I don't even don't listen. My doctors though, we're we're working on it. But okay, so I'm at my plateau weight period. I feel like I'm already saying too much. Like, it's giving at least face right now. No, but, um, I love watching her stuff because it's like I could live vicariously, vicariously through her and not have to deal with the public shame of people saying, not you're trying to lose weight and it's seven months later and you look the same. Shut the hell up, bitch. Anyways, all that to say, I tried measuring, right? So I tried, I measured myself last month and then now it's a new month. So I want to do once a month because we're not about to do all that. Um, once a month on the same day for I had to, I have like a little worksheet that I on Google um, and I think it's four months so I'm at that plateau weight however I I was at my like biggest ever in life and it was on the paper like I I was ashamed but I wrote it down and I could see the, all the inches like so it's, it measures arms what was it neck arms chest waist hips thigh and calf and i was like okay fine by me so i measured it right i'm like okay whatever these are pretty big numbers like as i expected um i write it down and then i'm like okay i'm expecting no changes because the scale has been going down but i because again back to the body dysmorphia i'm like it don't look like shit so whatever um like with other days okay it's giving a little thinner but i really you know it, it's like a those of y'all with body dysmorphia y'all know what i mean like you you see a little change you're like ah looks like it but probably not and then you just kind of like move on with your day like your mind plays tricks on you it's like fucking crazy so i'm measuring and i'm like wait am i measuring right why is this number and I'm realizing first of all my fat ass neck that shit has not lost any weight i guess i don't <laughs> I guess my, maybe my face is the last thing to lose weight, but my face can get, it's so weird looking at old photos of me because my face can get so, like, the jawline, like, who is she? Right now, though, ooh! But anyways, the whole thing, the whole point of me sitting here to tell you all this is I sat down and measured every, while well, I was standing up, measured everything. Guys, period, it's the inches coming down for me! And that reassured me that what I saw, that I was like, oh, am I, it was real. And it's like, you can't lie, like, you're measuring yourself, and there's nowhere to lie to yourself. You know, a treadmill, a, a scale, you can kind of like, have I been calling it the treadmill? Anyways, the scale, you can sometimes have a fucked up scale, you can, it could be, oh, you didn't poop yet, oh, it's water, oh, my God, like, all these possibilities, right? Um, but a measuring tape is like very accurate, so I was very proud of myself, and here I am, ready to take on the next month, period. I'm very excited, and I'm trying to get to the place of like, I don't know if I'm burning 400 or 500 calories a day, but that's what I want to do, and that's why I need my Apple Watch. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it will be a big help, because I can't fucking, like, I don't know, and don't, I don't talk to me about no fitness bit, Fitbit, like... I don't know something about it is giving me mm, but maybe I need to shut up and just give it a try but um I'm excited because I'm here at the gym and I'm excited to push towards my goals um you know and I've said this before all in all to say happy Wednesday and I don't want to scratch that scratch that what I want to really say is you know if you're on a gym journey let's call it a gym journey because People go to the gym for more reasons than one. They go to gain, gain muscle, maybe help in their weight gain. I don't really know. I don't know what it looks like to go to the gym to help with your weight gain. So, like, I don't, but, you know, I'm assuming people do that. Um, <laughs> you know, weight loss, mental health, you know, maybe hobbies, maybe you know, we all have a story in the gym, and I think the gym is a space for everybody. And if you're, like, just feeling discouraged about your own life, situation, whatever, I always say, like, it's so corny, but I've turned into this person, like, 
go to the gym. Because although it's giving me, it's making my inches go down. The mental clarity. Like, when I don't go to the gym now, I have the biggest fucking attitude. I don't know what it is. Like, I need to get it together. Also, y'all. Yeah, I just want to say that. Like, you know, I'm seeing the gym is doing what it's supposed to do for me. And I just want to share that with y'all. Because this is a safe space to me. Now, if you talk a shit, if I can block you on YouTube, I will. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Guys, so you know how I've been doing, um... A to do list. So today we're very fucking busy actually. Like, I'm not even kidding. And I know I'm gonna regret editing this. That's because of all the damn swears. But and that's why I love watching Leah's face so much. Her, her older stuff. Because I'm, I like, when I want to start a new YouTuber, I watch from beginning to current. Like, I don't play that. Like, I need to build a, un, or like, not a relation because you don't really know them in real life. But you know, like, um, a picture I want to paint the picture when I start watching Monet I watch from beginning to end Isi Meme Adeko love her stuff I watch from beginning to end and y'all I'm looking for a damn pen and all I keep finding is lip liners like why the fuck do you have lip liners in your bag for the gym but you guys you know yesterday I had a lot to do um Sadly, I didn't get to edit my video, and now it's crunch time. It's Wednesday, and my usual upload schedule is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I don't have a video for today. And y'all know that 94K giveaway that I'm trying to enter for the radio? 720, 820, 320, that's when you enter. I tried to enter 320 yesterday, I think it was, or Monday. I don't, maybe I'm mixing up my days now. <sighs> didn't get in. Today, I woke up at 7, I was like, okay, I'm going to enter the 720. 720 I was brushing my teeth couldn't enter 820 I was putting on my leggings for the gym now all I have is 320 to try and I don't know yet people said the code that I think but anyways this paper that you see is my to-do list by the way I'm not like hiding behind it but um for today well, I made it to therapy yesterday I have to make some graphics for my business and some emails marketing emails Y'all, marketing emails are the fucking worst. Like, it just makes me feel like uh, I wish I was a rapper. Like, the, the, the wordplay you have to put into it sometimes, like, Jesus Christ. Like, anyway, um, for today, first thing on the list, oh, I have to also do my media kit. <sighs> I need to delete this page. Like, that's what I was supposed to do yesterday. Um, and I was supposed to edit yesterday, and I didn't get to do shit yesterday. All I got to do yesterday, I had girls' day. I got to measure myself and I got to therapy. And I need to stop playing this shit for girls day because, you know, oh, no, I, I told y'all about the phone yesterday. Okay, today, we need to wash my hair, you know, gym, wash hair, my hair is a fucking mess. I need to edit and post, like, on YouTube, like, no joke. I wanna call this accounting agency consultation, a little consultation, I don't use that word at all, so that's why it sounds like that when I'm saying it. Uh, consult, I don't know how to say it, I hope I'm saying it right. Then I got a 5 p.m. physical therapy. Why am I at the gym? No, guys, because I don't go to the gym when I have physical therapy because I just feel like it's a waste of time. Well, I'm already fucking here. I have to make, first of all, yesterday I had to make 10 graphics, right? And then today I had to make 15. So count that together. 25 graphics need to be due by today. I will push myself. Um, and the 15 graphics has to be for another business. So, so it's a light day. I was going to go do my nails too, like my toes. I would just get a pedicure. Y'all know I just do my own hands. But I was like, there ain't no fucking time for that. So I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. And tomorrow's to give y'all a preview. I'm going to go to T-Mobile with, you know, my father-in-law. Check that out. The Apple Watch thing, guys, ends in, by the end of the week. So Mission Apple Watch has been ignited, started. Um... And tomorrow, real quick, I'm going to join this conference uh, with a small business lawyer where she'll talk about, like, you know, things you should know when you have a small business. But the camera's about to stop recording in 20 seconds. Thank y'all for joining me before the gym. We're going to do full body today and a little cardio. Well, both is double cardio. I don't want to talk about that. Um, I don't know what, what I'll be doing next time. Y'all see me probably heating up my breakfast, and I'll see y'all in a bit. Bye. Y'all see her? Do y'all see her acting up in the back? Poogie, come here. I want to hang out with you. Anyways, guys, 
We're home. We're home. And Amazon package is here, so we're gonna open it together. I mean, it should be here that y'all don't really care for. Um, I have this like this little cut I have, okay? And who cares? You? Where should you go? Exactly. Oh, is it because the camera's on your bed? Come on. Come on. She's like, get that shit off my bed, first of all. I have this, like, little cut that I'm dealing with. You know, Neosporin, all that. It's one of them cuts. And I was wearing a Band-Aid here and there. And that shit was... I got, like, a Band-Aid. Like, the skin got so sensitive that it peeled off. And it's like, it gave me another problem. And I'm just like, no. Um, okay, so like I've said before, we have our four-year anniversary coming at Man of Lands. And... I got some games. I got some games. I want to play some games where we're going. Our little mini vacation. What should I do first? Should I show y'all what I got? Should we talk about what happened at the gym? Which one? Which one? Okay, I'll show you what I got. So I got these cards. We are not really strangers. And I hope that they're fucking good. It says, what's more romantic than being understood? The couple's edition is an invitation to better understand who your partner is today, not just the person you met them as. There's only one rule while playing, honest answers only, and I could do that. And it says ready, question mark. So if we're in the mood, you know, once the L hit right, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to give this a try. If it's a dub, I'll return it, whatever, okay? Um, and then this, okay? Let me tell you about something about the main caller. Okay, wait. So it does come with beads. Guys, I bought beads separately because I was like, does it come with the beads or not? But guys, growing up, if you know, you know, I went to the Boys and Girls Club. And they had that rec room with the games. And man call was my shit. And apparently, now that we're all adults, I guess everybody forgot how to play. Or I was just always playing with people who don't know how to fucking play. Because I learned how to play man call a certain way. And every time I try to play with people, they're like, that's not how you play. Pookie, have some class. Like, she's always trying to fucking leave as if somebody's, like, boring her to death. Goodbye. Bye. Y'all couldn't hear her, but she was like, meh, when she left, like, okay, bitch. She be talking back. Like, relax. Anyways, I've never owned... Well, also, my boyfriend and I are buying little things that we want for the future for our house. Like, little, you know, knickknacks. Um, not that big yet, like, furniture and stuff, because you guys know. Um, she's so like, where the fuck do we put it? Um... <clears throat> So far we have this, we have a Cards Against Humanity, and I want to add this to the collection. But I'm also trying to bust it out when we go hang out on the weekend, celebrate our anniversary, because, listen, Apple Play, or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know how main caller is, like, working on that app, because this is what I was taught, and I'm like, do I pull this out and show y'all, but, let me see if I can show y'all through here, okay. So you guys see, you know, it's like, what is it, 10 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Is it six? Okay, six six. I think I don't. I haven't played the real one in a while. Six six, and you have usually four or five in each circle, and from what I remember, the goal is to you know, you know, pick up, drop a drop, and when you land, say this is my. How is it again? No. So this would be the opponent side, right? Let's say I'm picking up. Fuck, I don't remember, guys. Somehow, whatever. Let's say this is me, right? I pick up these two. One, you drop one, you drop one. It where I was taught to play, once you drop one in here, that means you get another turn. So now that I dropped that, I could either grab my last one and put it here, you know, now that that's empty, or I could grab this, what so looks like there's like six in there, and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And since there's nothing there, your turn is done. The next person goes, let's say now there's three here. If I grab my three, one, two, three, I have another turn. But even that, like, what I was taught is, like, let's say there's five here. Pick up one, two, three, four, five. Okay, another turn. I'm trying to, let's say six, right? Six, one, two, three, four, five. And then six. And then if I land here, let's say that the three is there still. I grab three, one, two, three. Now I'm done because I landed my last marble in the empty circle. Please comment below and tell me, am I bugging? Because that's what I thought, like, because on the Apple one, play it. Just play it and tell me, and I hope that made sense. I'm so fucking excited. Let me see what the marbles look like because I'm pressed. I'm pressed, I ain't gonna lie. And I don't tell y'all this, but I edited it out so much, but I always, like, my nose is always itchy. Like, the tip, right, or, like, under like this line or right here it's always fucking itchy and i always edit it out 
on my videos because it looks like I'm picking my nose. Like, you can't tell what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know if I'm... I think I'm not going to edit it out because I just want to be honest. And it's just so... I realize when you do vlogs, it's like five hours of footage or less. And it's like... You know, you really want to cut the corners wherever you can, but... Oh my god, I'm so excited. I should have this engraved with, like, our initials. That's how corny I am. And it's funny because our last names both start with the same letter, so... What the hell just fell out? Ooh, I need that. Oh, wow, this is... Is this a cheapy one? Like, why the fuck would that even come out? I want to, like, glue that in, honestly. I don't like how bad this is. Hold on, guys. My friend was like, you should open an Amazon storefront. But here's the thing about Amazon storefronts. Let y'all see my mess in the back. You have to have people buy from it because after a while, if you just have an account, no one's buying, they'll just close it. That's the truth. But, <laughs> this is so cute. But, that is so fucking cute. Ooh. Guys! Yeah, this shoe's about to piss me off. Is it the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. And I don't have time to return it. Y'all, look, it's like, has it always been like that? It's like the little screw for it, but why the fuck it like keeps falling out and that's so annoying. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to play and then return to get a new one because what the fuck? Look, it like falls out. Like, no, that shouldn't be happening. And that shit always happens. Like, I, you have to return something when you don't have time to be returning. Yeah, I'm glad I bought extra because that ain't gonna get us nowhere. This is like look like two beads per circle like um amazon if you thought you saw this you didn't guys even me putting in the box the little thing came out she's definitely getting returned like wasting my time just talking about this for no reason does anyone else have hp printers please let me know um because my thing i said it has no ink for like two months and i've still been trying you know you know when you like test your printer's theory and you're like is there really no ink you keep printing and there's still ink somewhere okay but i already upped on my ink that's about all i got from amazon let me tell you what happened at the gym because it was so sweet so 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 sweet um there's this girl i told my boyfriend i was like there's this girl i told him like three months ago i was like okay there's a girl that goes to the gym she looks exactly like this girl on tiktok that i follow and she lives in the area i know that because she announced like she doesn't it's not a secret on her page so i was like it's no way like she's here because where i live in massachusetts like it's not boston that's what y'all need to understand boston and massachusetts are like two separate but anyways she lived in my city and i was like I was like is it her like she got the same hair color i haven't heard her she has a very distinctive voice i was like i haven't heard her speak and i'm not about to take my headphones off in the gym like a creep like you know guys Listen, today, oh, but anyways, I let it go. I said to him, should I talk, should I say hi? Like, how do you even come up to somebody and say, hey, I saw your videos online and period. Like, you know, it's like, what do I say? So, <clears throat> I just appreciated from a distance, let her do her thing. And also, I was like, what the fuck? Like, what if she's filming in her damn video looking like a fucking potato? Like, you know. So, with all that being said, it's been months now and she was there today. Like, she's always been there. Um, and we always go at the same time, like, it's always, she's one of those, you know those people that you go to the gym, no matter what time you go, they're there, like, that always happens to me, with that girl, and, um, she goes hard, she does a great job, whatever. The gist of it is, I see her, I'm like, oh, there's a girl with the red hair that might be from TikTok, and I keep it pushing. This time, and she's always, like, usually really far away, but I have good eyesight, right? This time, guys, you know Planet Fitness where there's, like, you know, the whole gym treadmill, like, that area is big as fuck. But then there's areas where it's, like, the stretching area or where the kettlebells and stuff are. I'm where the kettlebell and stuff are. And we're, like, right there. And I just walked in, and I'm like, oh. Something to me was like, say something. Say hello. Tell her, tell her something. Guys. <clears throat> and this is what I mean. Sometimes you have to just step out of your comfort zone and give people their flowers, and it's fine. Like, don't be scared. If it goes bad, it goes bad. We just move on. Like, okay, that was awkward. Um, and walk away. So I was like, I need to act fast, cause it's like weird if you're just pacing there. You just pulled up twenty. You do your whole workout, and then after you're like, hey. Um. So I I walked in. I put my stuff down, and I before and I didn't like she wasn't working out yet. She was like kind of like thinking. I think about what she's gonna do. So I go up to her and I'm like, hey, sorry to bother you. She was like, 
because like obviously it's like who the fuck are you so i'm like hey sorry about it are you on tiktok and she was like yes i am you know her voice and i was like oh my god it's her like when i heard her voice and i was like oh i love your videos like you do such good workouts i just wanted to say that <laughs> that's just what came out okay there you go. If you don't know what to say to people, that's what you said. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, she was like, oh, thank you so much. She's like, so what are you doing today? I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, I'm doing full body. And I had to start my workout. I was like, I'm doing full body, you know. She's like, did you do cardio yet? And I was like, um, I switch it off. You know, I do it before or after. And that kind of told me that she maybe do it before. But she was like, um, she said, did you do cardio? I was like, no, I like to do it. You know, I said what I said. And she was like, well. I mean, do you want to do something together? What's up? And I was like, hold on, because I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. And I was like, um, I was like, all right. Like, I wasn't going to tell her no. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then she, like, tells me, like, hey, you know, I want to train people one day. So I was like, fine, fine with me. Let's practice, period. And I know she don't play games. Like, on her video, she don't play in. I just knew she was either going to be, come come for me. Like, I don't I don't know her like that. Like, y'all, you know, you see people online, you don't know them like that. I know she's going to be like, fat bitch, get it together. Like, you're going slow as fuck or whatever. But she was so nice, so kind. She We worked uh, we worked out together. It was supposed to be my first time, honestly. Yeah, I guess she was, like, fake training me. Like, we are having a little moment. Um, She was so sweet and so encouraging because she made me do burpees. Shoulder press or so shoulder touch i think she called it jumping squats and there's one more what else i feel like there was one more there had to be one more can't remember right now but burpees i suck at and she was so nice she was like we'll take it slow it's fine and she was like i have 20 minutes let's just do something quick i was like okay babe. so that's what she told me like let's do that and she showed me like how I could do a different way, like alternate till I build my way up. Y'all, burpees are hard as fuck, especially if you're bigger. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. It feels like you are a sack of potatoes trying to jump up and down. So, and I was just telling her, she, I was like, yeah, my core is weak, my arms are weak, the, the legs are good. I highly doubt she will ever watch this vlog, but if she does not pursue training, she should because she was so encouraging and she really was like, she fit my training language she's like come on she's like come on girl period she's like bitch let's go i was like oh not the bitch let's go i was like okay period bitch period let's go so she was so nice and then i went to the treadmill when i was she was like okay she was like oh yeah we finished she's like so nice meeting you you're so sweet you know thank you she's like what's your name again tell my name she you know whatever i was kind of like can we follow each other on tiktok but i knew i was like relax like now you're giving press so because you know i have a platform too so i wanted to just be like can you support the love <clears throat> but when it's time for that it'll come but yeah i went to the treadmill to do my cardio after all that like she had me sweat and i was like oh you know and she pushed me out of my comfort zone really like i'm already going up to a stranger and then she said something so fucking funny she was like um she's like you can't introduce yourself expect me not to to put you to work i was like oh i was like you need to say that on your tiktok because I really said, I was like, you know, put that TikTok somewhere. Because I did not know that. Um, but I, we were just joking with each other. But, yeah, I'm on the treadmill. Finishing up in my 20 minutes and I'll walk and walk in. If y'all don't know, well, I haven't said it. But I'm working on running again because sciatic nerve, all this bullshit, physical therapy. <sighs> Anyways. um, Yeah, so. That, that, that. And then I'm doing my thing. I kind of see her walking around, so, you know, you don't want to be awkward, so I was like, don't look at her, like, that's weird, like, let her, you know, just say bye when it's time to say bye, you know, and I like to look at people, no, I don't, sorry, let me take that back, you know, when you, you're working out, you're like, let's say you're going, like, you look around, like, it's a quick glance, and you just could go, that's what I do, okay, I'm not, like, people watching, like, the whole workout like i have my video in front of me whatever i just wanted to clear that up but you know she has a very dis like her hair is red like you could just see her so um i minded my business and at the end she comes to me and she like nudges me and she's like hey just you know like you know she's trying to put me onto running and stuff and i explained to her the physical therapy and stuff and i was like i used to run you know i did i'm trying to get back there but um i can't wait to you know get back to it she's like period exactly so um she's like it's nice seeing you ask me my name again and i was like yeah i'll see you around she's like, i'll see you around i hope it made her day too just because i i know i could imagine i'm not i don't know but i can imagine what it feels like to have a platform post all the time post all the time and then have a real person come up to you and be like hey i watch your videos like they're so good um 
that probably feels really nice so I hope I don't maybe I'm the first maybe I'm not but I hope that it did encourage her in any way I'm not saying that she needed the encouragement but I hope it was something nice for her because I know someone kind of came up to me and was like I love your curly hair videos or your life advice videos they are so whatever um I'd be like period Hey, I'm doing something for somebody. I'm helping. But while I was gone, because I know y'all, I, I ripped the nails off too. I did. I'm like, I'm cleaning and I was just like, these are pissing me off. I felt like two of them were weak and like about to come off. So I ripped them all off. In the process, guys, ugh. Y'all don't even want to show y'all how fucking gross. Oh, y'all, y'all get the idea. Look at that. You see that hole? I ripped the nail off and it just chunked out. I don't listen we're gonna keep cleaning i was deep cleaning i wanted to catch y'all up with the whole gym situation and just do a little amazon unboxing because i know the girls like to see that but it was nothing exciting right i have a chia seed put i just wanted to show y'all what it looked like because i think i told you i was gonna meal prep right can't wait to eat this later period i made a lot but all right guys bye pookie pookie is getting her new sarasto tonight not you laughing pookie she said, get that shit out of my face. Oh, Wookie, say hi. <gasps> he said hi to them. She said bitch. <laughs> Pookie, I love editing you and the faces you make. You want to tell the people how you had this donut a few vlogs ago, videos ago, and you only went in once? And you only sleep on the top? She's like, I'm not speaking to you. This is a Soresto. Look at you. Also, this is what kind of helps people in the neighborhood, I feel like, determine that she's not a stray. She didn't have the air tag before. She had the little, you know. And them little boyfriends you bring over here don't even have a flea thing. Ugh, why are you doing this to me? She said, stop recording right now. You gotta keep two fingers in between. <laughs> Pookie, put your neck up. It's the new Apple Watch for me. She's aggravated. Can you pick your little neck up? Yeah, she's acting all weird tonight. It was probably the camera. She's like, I'm going to stop moving. I'm going to show zero personality. That thing is pointed at me. Pookie. Look at her eyes. They're doing that. Pookie, no. Hold that for me. Thanks. Pookie, he's almost done. She's like, that's enough. There you go. All done? Now me on crust is status. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. It's 9 a.m. Don't like starting my day that late. This is for... I'm calling from... I'm calling because I know you just had an appointment here on February 27th, but I was calling to set up a three-month follow-up with her. I'm more than happy to assist with scheduling... He texts my new father-in-law, like, are we on a team mobile or not? What time is the mall open? Been at 10 a.m. Let me relax my ass. What were we talking about? Like the ADHD is in full effect. You want to go in your donut now? This is what I put the camera on, and she's over here. Like, can you move your fucking? Go, go, Pookie. Yeah, hold on. Bye. Was it that serious? She be outside, so I don't know the fuck she acting like she don't. Don't be grilling me. It's a camera, and you know that. You know you see this camera all the time. Excuse the background. You want to be in the vlog? You clearly want to be in the vlog. Don't you? Do you mind if I put the camera near your butt or are you going to make a scene? Thank you. Well, we got to share. We got to share. Stop. She is so upset. She's like, Pookie, you always want to sleep on my feet and we share we share our space. Look, that's you. Look at how you look. Angry. Is that taken care of for you? Thank you. Have a good day. You too now. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, anyways. That went smooth. She wasn't rude. Because there'd be some girls that'd be rude as hell. And it's like, mamas, you know, I know you're getting quality assurance tested. And the attitude needs to go. But yeah, we got that done. My hectic morning. This is the phase I'm going through in life. Is it gray hair or is it Pookie's hair? This is giving Pookie's hair. Um... I think I've talked about this before, but y'all know when I wash my hair, I hair plop, and then I let it air dry, and then, you know, this is what we're working with now, so it's still wet, still wet, but, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna let it dry. Y'all think we glow up on camera like that, like, bow, bow. 
um yeah so like i said it's thursday um and what do we have to do today we're gonna go to t-mobile and see and y'all this man aggravated me i said don't go on amazon because i have a surprise for our weekend there and it was just something i thought we ordered and other stuff that's on the way and he goes not you buying blah, blah, blah. i'm like he ruined my night. I was like, didn't I tell you if you need something on Amazon, tell me and I'll order for you. Don't go on there. And he was like, it was my notifications. I was like, turn that off. Like, you're not ordering nothing. I don't care. And y'all in my business now. I put y'all in it. But, but boyfriends be so annoying. You want a boyfriend? This is what, this is what it is. So, I'm actually super busy today. Like, guys, it's Thursday. I never posted a video yesterday, I was supposed to. Like, I'm very annoyed with myself about that. I will say my, the tension is very high today. The only thing keeping me excited is my hair being cute and maybe getting an Apple Watch today. And, of course, getting work done, hopefully. It also feels like a Friday today, I don't know why. Um, yeah, yesterday, I don't know what happened. After physical therapy, I like this plateau, and I was exhausted. And I think allergy season is definitely here. Because my throat is itchy, my eyes, and my nose. And allergy season does not treat me nicely. So, yeah. So, we're going to... I'm going to see what my boyfriend's dad is doing. Because, girl, we, we got to go to see Mo Bayou. Yeah, and they open at 10 a.m. So, he... Either he with the shits or he's like, girl, relax. We'll, we will be going. But wait. Um, so, I have to get that done. And whenever I'm back home 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 and you get the fuck to work like it's not even funny and what else do we have to do i'm gonna drop off the letter my pen pal letter i, I hope i explained that whatever that was to you let me get the to-do list too and see what else i have Fuki, stay right there because if you get up my camera is gonna break i'm trusting you love you one second stay there please you are so sweet oh we made it all right so I was also brushing my teeth. I was like, why the hell? Why don't you just use your damn iPad and your planner, your iPad? And I know y'all probably think that too. Like, girl, why you keep pulling out this piece of paper? I don't know. This is the only thing that's been working so far. And it's like, it's embarrassing at this point. But it is keeping me, you know. Yesterday, guys, I did find keys to my notebook, my journal. So... I know I was trying to find that shit. I found it. Um, yeah. So now we're sitting on top of the 25 graphics. And now. Wow. It says 15, 10. <clears throat> and I have to do 20 more graphics today. So that is totaling in 45 graphics. I don't know if that's even realistic for me to complete today. I might have to split it in half. Because I need to put a YouTube video out. So it's like this is the problem. Where I get way too booked up book myself out too much and then you know and actually my therapist was telling me last night like because you're in this like unemployed phase you might tend to overcompensate and want to do a lot and then feel overwhelmed if you don't complete it just because you don't have a job and kind of like that that feeling of being vulnerable and insecure and like you feel like you have to be doing something the whole day because you don't have a job and you want to feel like you're working. And I was kind of like, I agree, I disagree, you know, because a big part of self-employment and content creation is you have to pretend that it's your job and that you're already being paid for it if you're not. Um, but I definitely knew what he meant by that. You know, I finally told him about my YouTube journey. And, you know, it's always fun telling a therapist, you know, because they have different ages and stuff, and their reactions are always different. But I think everybody now has a general, general consensus that content creators make money, and this ain't no joke, and it could be um, a career path, um, or it could elevate part of your career path. We did the gym. I'm not, I don't do a gym today because I want to walk with my boyfriend's dad. I've also been wondering, like, do I just say their names and then y'all just fall, keep up because it's it's more work saying boyfriend's dad, father-in-law versus Tony. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm going to scratch out gym and write walk. Um, and I'm hoping that I can walk my new Apple Watch. But I have a feeling it's not going to work out. So I'm like, I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be positive. 
Um, I wanted to try to get my tools done today. Oh, and then tonight's the really fun, um, it's in, it was on Eventbrite, like that website. And, um, it's gonna be a Zoom seminar for small business owners. Um, and it's conducted by a small business lawyer. And she's gonna talk about entrepreneurship, um, tax filing, um, Literally, like, she's going to hit the mark on all the things that I've been stumped on. There's only so much you can learn from Google, and then you actually have to sit down and talk to people because not every situation is the same. So I did, I'm, I'm going to go to that 7.30 to 8.30. I'm really excited. I hope it goes well and all that. I just scared Pookie with my paper. Um, I also inquired to speak to a CPA. I think I told y'all that I was looking forward to that. I washed my hair too, as y'all can see. Period. But 40 graphics today, that is not good. That is not good. Um, this is also why I say it's good to have things in the draft. And this is why people pre-record because when things happen like that, we have a busy week. And if you're lucky enough to realize you have a busy week, then you can go ahead and post and continue your busy week. But um, I do need to plan ahead because I've been now realizing that usually by the end of the month, the beginning and end of the months are very busy for me so i need to prioritize that and plan around that so yeah because now we're sitting on 40 graphics and that is a lot of information and i think what will make it easier for me is if i just write down on a word document everything i want to put in each of them so 40 sentences probably or 40 mini paragraphs oh that sounds like an essay literally so i can just copy paste copy paste decorate like graphics are easy for me you know, just put the color away. What the hardest part is, is me making some damn sense while I'm writing what the graphics say. Because I don't care for... She over here flicking her hand disgusted. Like, I know she want to move because her back is shaking. Sorry, Pookie. I'm almost done. Just doing the morning recap. Yeah, I haven't had water, breakfast, nothing. So we're going to go do that too after this. And you know, I want to do little things today. Like pay off some of my credit card. Put some money in my savings. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to be busy. And I'm going to do the Word doc ID. I think it's like, there's no option but to do that. Um, oh, we have the, we still have the 94K giveaway. <sighs> I have to try a 320. I keep missing it, guys. A 720, 820, and 320. Also, it's like, I don't know if they even close the damn giveaway at this point. And I hope whatever that, guys, I don't Um... What I was saying with the drafts is I have, like, draft TikTok. So, although I haven't been posting on my YouTube like I want, I'm still posting on my TikTok. And I'm going to applaud myself for that because I have them in the drafts. I'm going to applaud myself for that because um, I do repurpose my content. And that means that I do have shorts for that I can repost, you know, and that's always great. So, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm just going to check how that TikTok is doing from last night. Ooh. Ooh. She's like, girl, get that thing out of my donut. But, yeah, guys, we're going to start today. I'm in a good mood so far. And, bye. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. What would you say? Period. And hold on. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Guys, obviously, obviously, I have a case coming on the way. But yeah, guys, I was gone. Y'all, we still have to do our 40 graphics. But y'all see the hair is straight out. Cute, cute, cute. And I'm so fucking excited. Period, I deserve that. I deserve that. And for the free. Do you want me to tell you something? Y'all just know. Y'all just know how to give it. iPhone 14, period. Gray hair, period. Yeah. The quality. Let's try that again. This picture is ugly as hell. But period. Anyways, it's still Thursday. It's 3 p.m. Like, that's how long we were on. Um, can I do this up? No, I can't. Um. Yeah, um, my Amazon, my case is coming today. 
say we got this on lock and I need to go cook some din din ASAP and get to this graphics. That's cool you guys. I need to say I'm speechless. I'm guys, I'm excited. I'm gonna tell you all tomorrow how we made out. It's so cute and I don't know how to work it because I never had a Apple Watch. Not the yellow teeth. Yeah, so I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. But I look cute. I look, I'm getting serious. Like, didn't I tell you about? I'm done, guys. Um, let's go get shit done and wish me luck. Yo, cat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, sisters. Of course, yeah, you gonna spend. I'm gonna tell you right now. Expect something. Um, they're gonna expect a lot of, uh, you know, like that. So it happens, but you can build up to putting your business name onto your contracts. Don't worry. Good morning. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I got my list. I gave you a piece, so I don't know why you yawning over there. Like, you ready for another one? You can't even eat granola bars, so. It's about to be 8 a.m. Um, number one, I was brushing my teeth. If y'all know, y'all know. Number two, if y'all know, y'all know. Number three, we are kind of busy today because. We need to tell the surprise too about our anniversary. I need to just get like tell y'all the things on Amazon. By the way, I was trying to be discreet, but I was just so thirsty to show y'all what I got. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I was pressed. I was pressed. But those are the two other card things I got. <sighs> it's like I don't know if I'm tired or what, but like I feel. Do you ever wake up like tired and like ashy? Like my goal, I would be lucky. If I can edit a YouTube video today and post it. But sadly, this week I didn't post a video. And I'm very sad about it because I have been going on a streak of posting all, the, all every week for two months. And I was doing very good. And the numbers were showing that. And a big part of YouTube is consistency. So, I'm not proud of myself for the bad week, basically. And thankfully, I don't have any graphics to do today. The sad truth is I did not do any of those graphics yesterday because when we got home, T-Mobile was give, giving us shit. Right now, guys, I don't have my original number and I was told that I would. And they're like, at first they were like, okay, it'll take 45 minutes like when you get home. And then somebody else was like, no, actually 24 hours. Okay. After tomorrow, like, my, I better have my number back because some people need to contact me like, you know. After a certain age, you can't just keep changing your number because doctors have it on file, therapists, job applications, like, hello. You know what I mean? It's like, and I was kind of sad because I lost all my voicemails. Um, and I like to keep certain voicemails because, you know, I like to look back on it and listen to my loved ones, like, when my grandpa passed away. And I didn't have a phone yet. The one thing I wish I had was his voice, like a recording of it. So I had a lot of nice voicemails from my, from estranged family members um, when things were nicer between us. And I kind of had to like force myself to mourn that loss. If I knew that I was going to lose my voicemails, I would have just like try to save them because I have the ability to. But they're all fucking gone now. So the way I'm trying to be hopeful is just to think, okay, well, one day you guys will talk again and you know whatever so that's the sad news of the day of the day i was like you know what <clears throat> i don't know i was just like okay whatever like i just have to process that loss um and today i tend to stop at like two stores like something like dollar tree or marshall's or five below um yeah i need to go to i party so i want to get like a little bit of balloons in a photo frame but i need to find the fucking photos guys remember that cruise photo i showed y'all 
I'm gonna put it in a little frame. But I don't know where it is. I always do. So like, do you guys ever go through that phase where you hide things from yourself by accident? Like me, I'm in that era right now. It's ridiculous. But I'm very behind on schedule for my consecration. Like I was supposed to have my graphics done by today, and now I was supposed to start the process of scheduling them out so we could avoid this like you know the graphics are done so they just post by themselves and all you have to worry about is studying your analytics um let me let me take my hair out y'all because i need to i don't know about y'all but for me with my curls i need to let them like fluff out because yeah they be like also, please don't come for me there. It's not a bald spot. It's like a permanent um, part that I have. I've always had it, I guess, if you want to call it a bald spot. But ever since I was a kid, there's always like a little bit of hair. Not a little peak, but like the opposite of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to let this drop down because look, see what I mean? After a while, gravity helps me. So yeah, we're waiting for the phone case. So my plan is to go to the gym use my apple watch and finally see how many fucking calories i'm actually burning at the gym because i have no idea like i have not like i look at my phone and i just trust that those calories burn are realistic <clears throat> my face feels so dry what the fuck my plan is to go to the gym and then switch out my clothes there and run to get my pedicure and then run to these stores to get what i need the reason i'm running is because he comes out of his job early this week you know part of a surprise part of my surprise is like i don't want to say what it is because this kind of gives it away so um all of that to say too so i can make it back home and really sit the hell down on that computer um also yesterday i went i i did make it to the small business lawyer zoom call oh my god it was so helpful and i screen recorded it i said she was recording it too but i don't know if she's gonna like where she's posting that or if she's emailing to us because i kind of was late because i couldn't find the freaking password to get in there um so this is fantastic bad it was great it was so informative it made a lot of sense and I've decided, I think at this point, that self-employment will be the dream goal. But for, for now, to get to that, I need to get established in a career field that I like. And I know I know what it is. And it pays well. And I know I will not hate it at all. And then, when I master that field, then we can talk about, you know, because I need, I need, um, the funds. I need the funds. She's a great lawyer, and I would love to hire her as a lawyer. I would love to hire a team, but you need money for these things. And I look a mess. Guys, I just realized, like, you know, I do need a car. I need certain things and i just don't got the sauce like that yet to be doing self-employment like you know what i mean so it's fine <clears throat> it's fine some people might see it as a step back but i see it as a learning opportunity i love to learn if my life was like for whatever reason i had to go back to college when i was like 45 i would like i love to learn and i love a chance to expand on what I already know so I'm not upset about it I'm really like yesterday reassured me about that decision and I'm really excited and all I need right now is for a company business whatever take a chance on me hire me as an employee that's the problem too is a lot of these businesses um, for the career I'm trying to do sometimes they'll hire you as a contractor and all these things it's like I ain't there yet I ain't there so I need someone to hire me as an employee um, where I could get benefits as well and I can really while I work I can also study for and prepare for self-employment because I do want to run my own shit so I'm also gonna get rid of some businesses that I believe aren't serving me anymore they're just causing more stress than not um, so I have to either talk to a new CPA or talk to the CPA I already talked to um, I just feel like there's a language barrier, like, I feel like they're like, no, trust me, like, you don't even need to do that. 
And I'm that kind of person that's like, okay, yeah, I can trust you, but I still need you to tell me why. I need to know why. I need to know the in and out. And I need somebody who doesn't mind repeating themselves. Because I learn best by repetition. But yeah, guys, it's supposed to be 8. Right now, it's only like 7.58. And we're going to get this gym going. Trying to just choose peace. I'm deciding, like, should I just go to the gym, come back, and do whatever the fuck, and then go about my day or what? Because the more I wait when I wake up in the morning to go to the gym, I end up not wanting to go. Yeah. So, I'm excited for the gym. And I'm trying to work on making my stride bigger. So, instead of walking like this, I want to try to walk like, so then I can run. Instead of running like this. And then, you guys know. Not my throat itching. I swear the allergy is gonna fuck me up. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's the angle for me, like it's like is this an episode of Cheaters? Like what is this weird secret angle? Yo, I'm trying to prop y'all up. Um what has happened so far? I went to the gym. I went to the gym, had breakfast at home to save money, okay, trying to be a smart girl. And then I ran right back out to do the errands. So we went to the Dollar Tree. I found something. Looking for a photo frame. I'm gonna just check the basement at this point. I'm now at Party City and I'm gonna see, hopefully, that I find something. We also got our toes in. We got our pedicure done. Y'all, I went with a fucking vibrant red. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, I'm switching it up. Here's a tea. Before I go get my nails done, I just love. I love going up down on the, the seat. I don't care because it looks so funny. Um, I'm putting my socks on, but I love cutting my own nails in my house because I know somebody might be annoyed with what I'm about to say, but the girls don't like to cut the nails short there. And to be honest with you, I hate long toenails like... Even the average length of a toenail, I don't like it. Like, I give, I will show y'all, but I know men pay for that nowadays. So I'm not going to give the f content for free. All I know to say, because I know y'all don't give a shit. Um, I'm here at Party City. I'm going to look for, um, my goal is to find those blow-up balloons that you can blow up yourself that are helium. They have a, that new thing now. It comes with like a straw, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um... I'm looking for that. My stomach kind of hurts when I have a headache, so I think I need to like wrap it up with the irons outside and go home so I can still have some energy to do my graphics, guys. Because come on, and it's um 12, about to be 1, so we're really good on time. And I also want to get home before there's, there is traffic. There's also a Christmas, what's it, Christmas tree or something, I think it's called, next to this party city. So I might just stop in there, see if there's a photo frame in there, because my idea is to decorate the hotel room. Um, my first time doing that. I thought it would be sweet. It's my love language. Okay, if y'all gonna be haters in the comments, oh, why are you decorating the hotel room? Shouldn't the guy be doing that? Listen, both people can do it. Period. So, you know, I think, oh, I'm not even gonna get into a debate about that, but, um, yeah, so I wanna hang. I, I don't have the time or effort or money to be putting 500 balloons in the room and, like, I, Quite frankly, it's kind of embarrassing for me. Like, I'm, I give myself the ache. Like, if I were to walk in with like a hundred balloons into the room, like, like I don't want people to be okay. Not y'all about to. F I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just what my mind goes to. This, and I'm obviously not gonna write that because this is DIY customizable. But I was gonna put like maybe, like, I don't know how many of these there are, but I don't like something maybe like four years or. I don't know if there's enough for happy anniversary, that's what I'm like, but yeah, I'm going to use that, so just hang it up, um, probably a few balloons on the bed or something, or like fake rose petals, like I really don't want to do too much, because you know guys, the thing about it too is you need to be realistic, you got to clean up when you're done, like you're not just leaving that there for room service, like you're going to get your damn trash bag and clean that shit up, so I'm um, trying to find that, and then after this before, so I'm going to do party city, Christmas tree, and then I'm going to stop at Kmart to do an Amazon return. Oh, they don't do it anymore, actually. I'm not doing that today. Like, I'm really not. I'll just do it on Monday, go to a different gym. Two things, two things. If you hear that in the background, that's Cardi B. One, I hope this party city got a bathroom, because... Mm, 
What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say, guys? And sorry for this angle, but what the hell was I gonna say? Oh my god, I forgot. <gasps> my Apple Watch. My first workout with my Apple Watch, y'all. I'm so gassed. Like, first of all, so I don't know if I said this, but I'm working on um, expanding my stride. So when I walk, I take little strides, and I didn't realize it was a problem till now. Um, and that definitely has been impact and I'm saying it's a problem because it impacts my running my back pain I'm, I'm dealing with sciatica. That's why I go to physical therapy for and It also just is impacting my performance and in general too when I'm walking with a group of people I feel bad because I'd be all the way in the fucking back and I'm like Okay, well is everybody just avoiding me or am I really that slow like I can't tell how slow I am So I'm just working on my stride at this point because I just I want to run and I want to jog at least like you know what I mean? And if you're running with, I think I'm jogging and running with a very horrible stride to begin with. So it's causing problem um, with my performance. So today I worked on my stride, which what I did was I gave myself a little hill to walk on. And I just put that speed up and I told myself, you cannot let yourself fall basically. And you're going to speed walk and it forced my legs to kind of open up. Because when you take a small stride, you know, it kind of just looks like. That's, the, yeah, like, imagine, like, the upper part, that's my thighs rubbing. My thighs just rub, and then my calves are the only things that really, you know, so I'm trying to do when I walk to, you know, I'm sure weight maybe has to do something with it. Maybe also there's the routine of how you walk, you know, walking is really interesting. But also, I need to learn about, like, foot placement, too, when you... How you land on your feet makes a huge difference because I keep having foot cramps as well as like, I can't fucking win. But um, guys, I tried to work out for the first time on my Apple Watch. Period. And this whole time I was following the freaking, um, I mean, as you can see, can I, hello, don't play, what is the play? The red one is the calorie goal. Period. Yeah, I'm literally five five calories away from my calorie goal. The day isn't even done. So this is genuinely going to calculate for me how much calories I'm actually burning a day, including um, how much I'm actually working out. You know what? I just remembered too, guys. Um, My phone number is still not fucking working, which is really pissing me off. Yeah, guys. So, yes, I burned almost 350 calories. And my goal right now is to try to burn 500 or more in my workouts because I feel like, I just feel like that will be good. Um, but 300 and I really wasn't doing much today, that's very good news for me. And this watch is helping me like realize. And I think I just needed that for a while. So I'm so excited. We put these damn socks on, like I'm just swinging my socks around and shit thinking. Party City Christmas Tree CVS is what we're going to do and then home. And then graphics. So I don't know if I'm going to check in with y'all when I get home or between any of that because I'm kind of in a rush because I'm just tired of being outside. And I haven't even started my errands. Like the first errand was getting my toes done. All right, bye.